Darren, we'll start with uh, the week just gone by. We've been out in the community visiting local hospitals. Just how important is that to you that we really get out there and show what it means to be in this community? It's crucial to support. Um, it's quite humbling as well. It makes you, gives you that little rain check that we all need once in a while as well when you go round and sometimes you can, <clears throat> and we're all guilty of it, feel a little bit sorry for ourselves, but as we know, there's always someone in a worse place and it's difficult for me being a parent, walking into the hospital, speaking to these parents, knowing that their children are going to be in hospital over Christmas. So it was, it was sad and difficult for me personally, but on the sort of plus side of it, it's nice to give something back and take some gifts in for them, see their little faces light up when they open their presents. And that's what it's about. It's now it's, um, Certainly being a parent now, I know the true value of Christmas. It's all about the kids. On to the football now. We face Danes Town here the other night in the Challenge Cup. Unfortunately, you got knocked out on penalties. You were there watching the game. What were your thoughts following that? I thought for large parts of the game, and in particular in the first half, some of our, some of our young players done very well. Uh, it, was, it was very pleasing. I was, I was down at the Bournemouth game as well. So seen quite a bit of them of late. Which is which is nice to see what we've got coming through. Um, I thought they. I thought they deserved to win the game. They should have. They've, they should have gone on and won the game. They had one or two opportunities that that, that we didn't convert that would have seen us win the game. Um, but you know, result aside, the performance was very good, and one or two of them come through it with flying colours. In particular, uh, Oakham and and young Ronnie who I thought were very good on a day. Oakham got himself another goal, obviously, um, and was a constant threat running in behind with his running power. And Ronnie, for me, was a class above everyone else on the pitch. For, for a 16-year-old boy, the, the level of composure that he shows when he plays, this boy's got a big future. On to tomorrow's game now, we face Maidenhead, who we beat at our place earlier in the season, but it's always going to be a different game going there in testing conditions as well. Just what are you expecting from the game? Yeah, very as you as you say, like very difficult. I'm sure with all this weather we've had of late, conditions do play a part. But it won't be an excuse because it will be for both teams. Um, what we've got to do is be good professionals and and manage the game accordingly. Once we get there and we arrive and we see the the, the condition, the pitches, we've got to adjust our game plan accordingly. You know that's that's being a good pro, that's being adaptable, and that's what we need to do. Might not be conducive to our passing style. Might have to play a little bit more in their half, you know. But we'll assess that when we get there, and it will just be about you know us putting a game plan in place that gives us a chance of winning the game in it on probably difficult conditions. And then just finally, how's the squad shaping up into this one? Yeah, a little bit frustrating. We've had a we've had a little setback with Ricardo, which is. It hurts me when I see my players and they, 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 I can see on their face that they're looking forward to getting back on the grass and, and he's had a couple of days and then he's broke down and it just it disappoints me because I can see it written all over his face that he's he's obviously disappointed with a setback but it's not too big a setback so hopefully he'll get some football um, sooner rather than later. Shaq is uh, training again now. Um, we're managing his situation but... You know that's that's part and parcel with the type of injury he has. So Shaq has been back on the grass and is getting a little bit of sharpness back in his play. Um, <clears throat> the hope is that Shaq will get some football over the Christmas period. Um, who else we got? Andre. Andre has been back on the grass as well. Um, suffered a little calf strain, which is which is better now. Um, so he's back on the grass, and with Efron once. Saturday's out the way. As of Monday, he'll have the all clear to to be back mm. in full training and and available for Boxing Day. So let me just check that there is no one else. And obviously, Sweens and Pavey are our sort of long term ones, as you like. But both of them have had some very encouraging news lately. Pavey's operation was has been a big success. He's now out of his boot and back on uh, a training program where he can start working on rebuilding his muscle and getting his fitness back and Sweeney's operation was successful so 
you know, that for them too, that obviously it's slightly longer term. At least they've got the green light now to really start getting themselves back into a condition to get themselves back on the pitch with us.